okay now we're at the point where we want to prep for our motor mount so what I did was I just took a straight edge and let me show you first where the motor is going to be mounted the motor is going to be mounted right over top of the back side of the horizontal stabilizer when we have it installed and what I want to do is I want to make a motor mount plate for the motor to mount to and then I want to mount the plate to the fuselage so and you can see that we've got this taper down here at the bottom and we want our thrust line to be straight with the center of the fuselage so our thrust line is going to go just about through the main wing and out the nose and that's exactly where I want it and I want our thrust line our thrust angle needs to be straight from top to bottom and side to side so we're going to have to modify this end of the fuselage down here and get it straight to where when we put our mount plate on there we have a straight thrust angle top to bottom and side to side so what I did was I just took a scrap piece of paper with my square I lined up the paper with my grid down here at the bottom took my square, lined it up, and drew a vertical line. And then once I had that vertical line, what I did was I just lined up my fuselage with my straight line, orienting the fuselage so that it's pointing just straight away. It's completely the center line from the through the fuselage is perpendicular to the vertical line that I just drew. And putting the the farthest extent which is the top of the fuselage against my vertical line and then marking the top edge and the bottom edge of this angle that's on the back side of the fuselage right here and then using my straight edge to connect those lines now i have i have the profile i have the i have the um, the height of the piece of foam or whatever material i'm going to use to straighten out the bottom side of this fuselage so that we're vertical from top to bottom on this fuselage and I also have the profile of the angle that I need to cut in order to match up with the angle that's on the fuselage so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a scrap piece of foam and I'm going to cut it to this profile and I also have the distance that I need to cut that piece of foam to square this up I'm going to glue that on to the bottom of this the piece of this fuselage, this angled piece, so that I can bring it out straight with the top of the fuselage. And I'm going to use a couple of pieces of the popsicle stick. And I'm basically, I'm going to glue a piece on the top, and I'm going to glue a piece on the bottom on top of the additional piece of foam that I'm going to put there, so that when I make the motor mount for my uh, 11 uh, millimeter motor I will be able to drill a hole from that plate into the top piece of the popsicle stick that I'm going to have on there and on the bottom piece and that way if I ever need to rem remove the motor to clean it out uh, lubricate the bearing or replace the motor later on I will be able to do that so I'm just going to have basically a screw on the top and a screw on the bottom that's going to hold on hold the plate to the fuselage that's going that the motor is going to be mounted on I think that'll be a good solution and it'll give us a straight thrust line straight through the wing and out the nose which is what we want so I will go ahead and start working on that, um, forming my foam, getting it glued up. Once that's cured, then I'll come back and, and put my two pieces of popsicle stick on there, glue those in, and I'll show you what the end result looks like. And then we can concentrate on making the, the mount plate for our motor. See you later. Okay, so I have my foam on the tail to bring it out, and what I used was a little piece of this pink um, insulation foam that you can buy in I think you can buy it in, in two foot by two foot sections but it molds very well it's fairly rigid and it sands very well so that's what I decided to use I'm going to once uh, once my foam tack completely cures tomorrow I'll feather that in a little bit better so it looks more like it's part of the tail section and then I cut my 
I cut my ends of my popsicle stick and I glued those in. And then I have another piece of popsicle stick here. I already have my uh, drill holes marked. And so this is going to be my motor mount plate. And I think since this is going to be in a pusher configuration, if you can see that there's just a little bit of a gap between the end of the horizontal stabilizer and that motor mount. So what I'm going to do is, is drill a hole on the top and on the bottom and attach it to these two popsicle mounts that I have on there and just use some coarse thread uh, screws to affix it. And then I think with my motor, since the motor is so tiny and lightweight, and since it's in a pusher configuration, I think what I'm going to do is just put one screw in the top and one screw in the bottom. And of course I'll cut in the center of this, I'll cut out a three millimeter hole for the shaft. And then uh, two two millimeter holes. It says 1104 motor takes two millimeter screws. And I think that will work. I think that's gonna I think that's gonna work out for a motor mount and just common everyday materials that we used for it. So um, the glue's been on there for a couple hours before I do anything else to it. I want to make sure that that's completely cured. So we'll go ahead and end the segment here. I will go ahead uh, tomorrow when I make the next video segment for this. I will have everything drilled out of this little popsicle mount and have the motor attached to it. And we'll go ahead and install the motor and see what it looks like. So I'll see you in the next segment. Okay, here we are back with our motor mount, and I just went over it with a red marker to make it blend in to the airframe a little bit. But um, I made a couple of mistakes. Mistake number one, and I have my uh, mount all drilled out and everything. I have my motor attached to it. I have my two pieces of uh, popsicle stick that I'm using for the motor mount at the tail end of the fuselage. One of the mistakes I made was when I was holding the mount for the motor up on the bottom of the fuselage to make sure that I had a straight thrust line. I didn't have my prop on the motor and to me when I held the motor up with the plate it looked straight until I got the prop on it. And holding the prop up vertically like this I could see that I had a downward thrust angle so I was off of being completely vertical on this extension that I put on here by about a millimeter, maybe a millimeter and a half. So what I ended up doing to get to straighten that thrust angle out was on the end of this top mount, I just glued a little um, nylon washer on the end of that. And, and now, you know, when I, when I hold it up here with the prop, um, I've got a pretty straight thrust line now but uh, make sure that when you test that uh, that you have your prop attached to it and you have your prop in a vertical position and and hold that mount up and, and you know if you're off you always have an opportunity to either add to or subtract from this extension that you put down here on the bottom but you want to straighten that you want to get that as completely vertical as you possibly can okay Mistake number two that I made, let me get these mount screws out of the way. Mistake number two that I made was using the popsicle stick. If I ever have to replace this mount, I'm not going to use a popsicle stick for this mount on the end of the fuselage or for the mount on the motor because it splits so easily. Um, it's the first time I've ever drilled through a popsicle stick and the first time that I have ever you know, gone through one with a, a very coarse screw that I'm using for my, to hold my engine mount onto the airframe. And so they're prone to splitting. So if I ever have to replace this motor mount, either at the tail end of the fuselage or on the motor itself, I'm going to do away with the little pieces of popsicle stick and I'm going to use a very thin piece of plywood to do that with. So that would be my recommendation. Two recommendations. Don't use a popsicle stick. Use a very thin piece of plywood, very lightweight, lightweight plywood to, to make your um, 
mounts that you're going to attach to the end of your fuselage and also for the mount that you're going to make for your motor. Now I did attach the motor onto the end of the fuselage with the horizontal stabilizer installed and it feels like it's going to be plenty stiff enough with just the two screws holding the motor on to that piece of popsicle stick and, ha and mounting it in here with those two core screws. It feels like it's going to be plenty rigid enough to be able to push this plane through the air. So I'm not going to have to worry about it until I get a split in that, in that popsicle stick, either on the airframe or on the, on the one that I have the motor attached to. But um, it's pretty brittle stuff, you know, it's, it's very prone to splitting. So. so our motor mount is complete. The only thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and take a red marker and, and uh, paint that piece up so that everything meshes in with the airframe pretty well. And it looks like part of it. So... I will see you in the next segment.